I was incarcerated when my son was three. And it was the most heartbreaking experience that I've ever had to uh, face. I have a few memories of when I used to visit her. At the time, I didn't know, you know, that I was going to jail. She used to tell me she was in school. It was very, very hard, that very first visit. We couldn't even, like, hold hands or anything. But when we got, when they got there, they could give me a kiss and a hug, and then they have to sit again, right? So he didn't want to let go of me. I would always leave, like, a little, like, stuffed unicorn little thing. So I would always leave it in the couch in my grandmother's house. And when I would sleep, when I wake up, it would be next to me. And I always thought that she was the one that like, put it. It's extremely hard to um, return and be a productive member of society once you've uh, committed, uh, once, you've, once you've been convicted of, of, of a crime. They called me and asked me, well, there's a two year gap in your resume. Can you explain that? And when I would stutter because I was not able to explain, they, they'd automatically know and say, oh, well, was it because you were incarcerated? I, I, I was not aware of those barriers before. She found a way to single-handedly raise me, man, and I've never, I've never felt like I didn't have something, you know what I mean? Like, she's always just been there. There have been plenty of times where um, I thank God for him because he is the um, I, I feel sometimes that he's the reason why um, I'm sorry <laughs> why I'm still here because um, there have been plenty of times where I've, you know considered kind of giving up, but I, I continue to think, well, what is he going to think? What is he going to feel? Is he going to think that I didn't love him enough to, like, you know, fight? So he's my strength. He's my rock. Senior year, I was, I was struggling because I didn't really know, like, if I wanted to go to college immediately, like, right after school. So. Just seeing the way she just balances everything, you know? Being a mother, going to school, finding ways to put food on the table, it's incredible. From prison to the Ivy Leagues, graduating, uh, Columbia University graduate with an Ivy League degree. However, unfortunately, that doesn't really mean that I've made it. That means, to me, there's, it, it, I, I'm still, I feel like I'm still incarcerated. I'm still not free. Because even though I have this Ivy League degree, there's still over, there's over 47,000 different laws and regulations that keep me and others like me from achieving our goals. I also started my own organization, it's called Beyond the Box Initiative. Uh, it's an organization that um, is seeking to remove barriers uh, that limit the possibilities of people who are formerly incarcerated. I'm just proud, you know? It's, it's, just, it's just great that she could be an inspiration to everybody she meets. It's, it's a wonderful feeling to have a mom like that, you know?